Hello Virgo, welcome to the next six months in love reading. Uh, we're going to be looking at what you can expect in the next six months in love. Uh, as always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. And don't forget to check out your moon sign, your rising sign. Um, I'll have a link to all of the playlists in the description box so you can check out your other placements. So let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides. What can Virgo expect in the next six months in love? What can Virgo expect in the next six months in love? Okay, we have mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying. Number 39. What can Virgo expect in the next six months? I am going to clarify all of these energies separately. So, okay, we have flirt, expand, oh no, expand, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Very young um, energy or like a early relationship type energy. So we'll see. What else for Virgo? What can they expect in love for the next six months? What can Virgo expect in love in the next six months? Time out. Timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. Hmm, bottom of the deck, difficult decision. I'm surprised the moving forward card didn't come out since it loves to come out for Virgos. All right, so let's see what each of these energies will, will be meaning here. Or what? Or, can I speak English? I just, I can't. Spirit, clarity, please, guidance for Virgo regarding love in the next six months. Tell me about this mysterious energy. What's this about? What's this about, Spirit, for Virgo? What's this energy about? Ace of coin. Wow, okay. What's this mysterious energy about for Virgo? What do we need to know about this energy? Eight of coin. You know what I'm getting? It's like someone might be doing this in secret, like working in secret and putting an effort in something here, something to do with money or an opportunity. We'll see. Tell me about flirt. What is this flirt energy about, Spirit? For Virgo, what is this flirt energy about? Wheel of Fortune, wow. What is this flirt energy about? For Virgo. Seven of Swords. Nope, Four of Swords. I'm sorry, guys. I've been looking at this flirt card. Four of Swords and a Wheel of Fortune. What? It's like someone has been... I'm getting a weird message, but the message I'm getting is someone that's like thinking about past interactions with another person, like an earlier interaction with a person. Like I see someone really thinking about this. Okay, we'll clarify all of these with my clarifying deck, but this I feel is not what it seems at first glance. So I'm gonna have to clarify. Tell me about timeout. Tell me about timeout. What's this about? The sun. Wow, look at all these energy. These are like really good energy here. Ace of coin, wheel of fortune, the sun. 
tell me about this timeout energy. Okay, I got one more for this timeout energy. Three of Wands. Yeah, this is someone waiting. So we'll clarify and get some, some more insight. But so far, I feel like this is um, very interesting energy, Virgo. I'm getting a lot of good um, energy from this, but we'll see what this is all about. Can I get some clarity, please, for Virgo? Regarding these energies. Can I get some clarity, please? Virgo. Okay. I haven't even asked my question. Tell me about the Ace of Coin and the Eight of Coin. Why is the Ace of Coin here with the Eight of Coin? The Ace of Coin here. The Eight of Coin. The Magician Reverse wanted to come out. The Moon Reverse. Why is the Ace of Coin here with the Eight of Coin? High Priestess Reverse. Wow, there's something that, and then the Empress. Something came out here or someone realized something with the Moon Reverse and the High Priestess Reverse. This could be um, a secret, some sort of mystery um, that's being seen clearly. Someone could have been manipulated with the Magician Reverse, the Moon Reverse, the High Priestess Reverse. This could have been a feminine energy. Um, others of you, you could be dealing with someone or because I'm saying someone because this could be your energy, Virgo, or your person's energy. Um, this could also be someone that's having some sort of realization about an Empress type of person. Eight of Cups Reverse at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this Empress. What's this about with this Empress? Tell me about the Empress, please. Why is the Empress here? Six of coin. Yeah, it, okay, tell me more about this Empress. Tell me more about this Empress. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. The Devil and the Tower at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Swords reverse and the Seven of Swords after that. So yeah, this is someone that I feel was manipulated. You, Virgo, or your person. I think you're, become, you're becoming free of this energy. Yep. I think this is something that was unfair to you, unbalanced to you. I don't know what this is with this Empress, but... Something is up. Someone's like overcoming their fear, overcoming this feeling of being stuck. Capricorn energy with the devil. Yeah, there's something big happening here, Virgo. And I think you realized it and it's almost like, or you will realize it in the next six months and it's like you're planning something big here. Oops. Tell me about the wheel with the four of swords. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Swords. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here with the Four of Swords? Queen of Wands reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune? Five of Wands. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune with the Four of Swords. A little fortune here with the four of swords. The higher font reverse. Oh my goodness. Taurus energy. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Six of Cups. Two of Swords reverse. I think this Queen of Wands reverse is a block. I think they're causing trouble or drama here. This could be within a commitment, an existing commitment. It could be that Virgo, you or your person no longer care what people think anymore. Tell me about this Queen of Wands reverse. 
Tell me about this Queen of Wands reverse. The Star reverse. The World reverse. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are in some sort of karmic situation. Um, or a cycle that needs to end but hasn't. Ten of Wands reverse. Like this should have been let go of. Tell me about this higher font reverse. Tell me about the higher font reverse. Queen of Swords. Tell me about this higher font reverse. King of Cups reverse. This is someone that is no longer letting. Well, there's the Six of Swords. This is someone that's no longer letting their emotions get in the way here and keep them stuck. Yeah. This is someone that's um, cutting something out of their life and walking away. Uh, they've thought about this. They've thought about it and waited for the right time. I feel like this is someone that has been waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe they were waiting, hoping it would get better or improve and it hasn't. Yeah, this is not a happy home. This is not a happy environment. And someone's walking away from this and their emotions are not gonna hold them back anymore. Tell me about the sun. They could also be dealing with someone who's a bit manipulative as well. Tell me about the sun with the three of wands. Okay, we have the knight of pentacles reverse, four of pentacles reverse, and the nine of swords reverse. So someone's, I feel, letting go of what was holding them back here. It could be mental with the nine of swords reverse, because I feel like the nine of swords reverse is a card about overcoming fear, and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Tell me about the sun and the three of wands. It's like someone's just waiting for their happiness to come in, waiting for their opportunity. Can I get one more for the sun and the three of wands? Death reverse. Okay, so there could be some delay here. Yep, ten of swords reverse, seven of pentacles, and the hangman. There's going to be a little bit of a delay here. I feel like someone's waiting for confirmation or the results of something um, to end this situation for good. Tell me about the death card reverse. Tell me about death reverse. Why is death reverse? Queen of Cups reverse. This, this could be the person that is trying to... Um, maybe, maybe you don't want to hurt someone or... Maybe someone's trying to, you know, the waterworks are on. Yeah, this is a burden that you need to let go of. This is going to be, eventually this is going to be something that someone lets go of. Yep, there's a tower and the devil again with the eight of wands reverse. There's going to be delays, I feel, because someone here doesn't want this to happen. But it's going to happen. And... I feel like here with the flirt energy, it's like someone wants to be free and happy again where things aren't so heavy all of the time. Maybe this is someone that's thinking about another person and how easy it was with them, how much more fun and lighthearted it was with them because, excuse me, because I think this is someone that they're motivated by the past in some way or like a past interaction or maybe they see other people living a certain way or having certain types of relationships and they're like, why is my relationship not like that? Why is my situation not like that? And it's because you're dealing with a difficult situation. Someone that maybe isn't fair to you with the seven of um, five of swords. Someone that causes drama, conflict. It's always something here with this person. With the world reverse, what I saw was this has happened before and it will keep happening. And I think the Queen of Swords is here almost as if to say enough. Aquarius energy with the star. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but another thing that I find very fascinating is that all of the major arcanas except for one are reversed. So the, this big shift, this major shift in your life or in your person's life, I feel like it's delayed. And I think it's this Empress because she's the only one upright. <laughs> I feel like once she's like knocked over, all these major arcanas would turn around. 
So don't let this person get in the way. Don't let this person control the narrative. Um, don't let this person stop you from what you truly want. They're going to try. And they're going to turn on the waterworks. And they're going to try to delay this as long as possible. But um, at the end of the day, you are going to let this burden go. And I feel like you will have your Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun. You know, I feel like with the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands, there's like a little pause here. And it's going to require maybe a little bit of work with the Eight of Pentacles. You know, maybe effort and energy is needed to be put into this. Work towards your happiness, right? But I feel like this, this is something that you've probably thought about in secret or imagined or fantasized about in secret. And now it's time to actually act on that. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this resonated for you. Let me know down in the comments if it did. Don't forget to check out your other placements. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading and want to see more readings from me. And I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.